Using a bayonet is some of the most fun you can have in Foxhole. Like a cat amongst the pigeons, there's no better feeling than observing the utter panic and chaos when enemy troops realise you've jumped into their trench and are sprinting towards them with a bayonet for a one-hit kill. But it can be a little tricky for new players to get it up and running. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to find, equip and use a bayonet, then run through some basic tactics to get you started with one of the most entertaining weapons in the game. So why is using the bayonet so much fun in the first place? For new players, running and gunning in Foxhole can quickly turn into a running and dying simulator as the quirky aiming system means everyone else can land their shots while yours just miss. However, if you can get close enough, a bayonet is a one-hit kill. This means that if you can sneak your way into a trench where you might find multiple players, they'll often panic and trip over each other while trying to shoot you, or even better, shoot each other, as you charge at them with a madman's rage in your eyes for an instant kill as soon as you reach them, and it's even more entertaining at night. Yes, you will often die while trying to attempt it, but this elegant weapon from a more civilized age rewards cunning and strategic planning just as much as wild bloodlust. And even dying while attempting these risky maneuvers can be some of the best fun to be had in Foxhole. Finding a bayonet is your first challenge, as they aren't always conveniently located at your nearest bunker base. You'll need two pieces of equipment to actually use your bayonet. A rifle is the first thing you'll need. Fortunately, these should be readily available at most front lines. But bear in mind, a bayonet won't work with a Sampo auto rifle. The second and trickier piece of equipment you'll need is the buckhorn, the bayonet itself. These are often found at your nearest bunker base, but it's best to check on your map, as you can hover over each base to check the equipment each one has to ensure a plentiful supply of buckhorns before you commit to a location. There is, of course, always the option of creating all of this for yourself at a factory to guarantee a plentiful supply. I also recommend avoiding a bridge battle if you can. Find a front line that looks quite fluid, i.e. with less pillboxes with AI that will automatically shoot you, and also try to avoid vehicles, which are denoted as triangles on the map. So you've picked up your rifle and buckhorn. How do you actually equip and attach the damn things? Firstly, press tab to open your inventory and click the rifle. It should equip itself to your number one slot. Then also click on the buckhorn too. Go out of your inventory and press number one so your little dude gets his rifle out. You'll also notice there is no bayonet yet, so go ahead and press F to attach it to your rifle. You should see a little animation of your guy attaching the buckhorn ready to use. A few things to bear in mind before we get onto how to actually use your bayonet. You can still use your rifle to aim and shoot as you would normally, having the bayonet attached as well. If you put your rifle away for any reason, your bayonet will be automatically removed. You'll need to get your rifle out and press F again to re-equip it. The bayonet is a one-hit kill on your enemies, but also your friends, so please be careful when using your bayonet around friendlies. Using your bayonet once it's equipped is relatively straightforward. Be sure to hold your rifle firmly with both hands, both feet shoulder width apart, Look straight ahead at your target with a kind of angry deathbringer look in your eyes and click the left mouse button to stab with it. Again, be careful around your teammates, unless you're a colonial, in which case, go crazy. However, as people are going to be shooting at you while you try to close the gap and stab them, it's best to get used to stabbing while running and changing direction. It's also useful to not have a bunch of unnecessary equipment on your person, as that will slow you down. Being swift, and stabby is the key to a bayonet kill. And, as with shooting, don't forget to aim your cursor at the enemy for a more accurate hit. Technically, that's everything you need to get up and running, but let me share some basic tactics with you to increase your chances of success early on. As a bayonetter, trenches are your friend, but they are also a double-edged sword. Most of your deaths will come from enemy soldiers spotting you and shooting you before you get a chance to close the distance. Although one shot won't kill you, it will make you move at a snail's pace for a while, which oftentimes means the second shot is not far behind. 
Getting into an enemy trench often provides temporary relief from being shot by a rifle at maximum distance. However, the problem you have now is the shape of the trench. If it's a long straight trench then an enemy soldier with a rifle can still easily kill you before you get near them. Perhaps using your own rifle to shoot them at this point will solve the problem, but often shooting will give away your position, so that's a risky tactic. Ideally you'll find your way into a zigzag trench with plenty of hiding places, where you can ambush enemy soldiers, then grab a moment to collect your thoughts, perhaps apply a bandage, drink some tea, then rinse, repeat. The life expectancy of a bayonet soldier is never long, but getting yourself into this kind of position gives you a decent chance of picking up some kills before your glorious death for Callahan or the goblins. Although the trenches will be your bread and butter, the absolute best situation for a bayonet is when the battlefield is fluid and there's plenty of cover. For example, the enemy is advancing into a town of yours, or your team is counter-attacking, where the enemy hasn't had a chance to build up pillboxes with AI to shoot you. In these scenarios, you can move with a bit more freedom, using buildings for cover and pouts on enemies before they get a chance to shoot you. These situations don't happen all the time, but when they do, it's where the enemy will learn to fear your sticky pointy thing. Grenades can be an incredibly useful tool when seeking a string of bayonet kills. If you're struggling to get into an enemy trench system before getting shot, a well-placed grenade in a key section of trench combined with a well-timed sprint may sow enough confusion to get you across no man's land and into the trench before they shoot you. You could also use smoke grenades to mask your approach or mislead the enemy into thinking you're attacking an area that you actually aren't. Flanking where possible is also another great tactic. A builder may have built a perfectly defensible trench system, but that doesn't mean the players are using it all properly. Explore the flanks and you may find a way of sneaking into the trench system, or at least charging the enemy from the side while their full attention is towards your fellow soldiers to the front. The bayonet part of Foxhole is full of mind games as you try to sneak your way past defences and make the enemy think you are where you are not. Night time is an exciting time to use a bayonet. Like a vampire leaping out of the darkness, you can get stabby stabby much more easily as your opponent can't see as far, so has far less of a range advantage. The only thing I would mention is that players seem to be a lot more on their toes at night because they are aware they can't see as far and a bayonet charge is far more likely. You really can tell the difference. Jumping into a trench at night, the enemy often reacts with precision and expectation. Whereas jumping into a trench in broad daylight, you'll often notice the enemy reacts with utter surprise and panic. Darkness is your friend, but be prepared for a swifter response when you do find an enemy soldier. Sometimes you'll find it's just not working. You keep getting cut down by rifles, vehicles, AI defences, and you just can't get close enough to get your stab on. This will happen occasionally, and my advice is to do one of two things. Firstly, choose a different front. Clearly this front is not ripe for the picking, but there are plenty of others to choose from. Second, you could just pack up your bayonet for a while and do something else, either on the front line or something entirely different. Often it's not because you're doing something wrong, it's just not working out for you on that front at this time. It can be easy to obsess over the same trench, the same soldiers, to the point it simply isn't enjoyable anymore. Bayonets are a joyous weapon that are unfortunately fiddly to use at first. If you're an experienced user, please do leave your tips and tricks for new players in the comments below. All too often I hear new players get bored of running and gunning with a rifle, particularly with the awkward aiming mechanics that Foxhole has. Getting up close and personal with a bayonet is fun and comparatively easy given it's a one-hit kill that can take out multiple enemies. I know players who spend 100% of their time with a bayonet, but at the very least it's a fun tool to use alongside rifles, SMGs, grenade launchers, flamethrowers that really mix up the frontline gameplay. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please drop us a like and check out my other Foxhole, World War II, and strategy content when you have time. See ya.